guys, today I am with Sexy Lisa, who, <laughs> <laughs> who plays Bob Goldiam, is Jesse Boyce, and he's played it in the West End, and now he's in the National Tour. Exactly. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're going to have a chat today and see where we go from there. So, what's your first memory of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons? Oh my gosh, my first memory, I think it must be... Well, I'm very young, so that I might get into trouble for saying this, but it was Jersey Boys. When I went down to like, um, I think I knew their music prior to singing the show, but I was living in, I w I'm from Australia, and I went down to Melbourne on yeah. like my school, so it's like kind of like after your, is it GCSE? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so we go and travel somewhere and we go and get brokers, but instead I go and see musical theatre. <laughs> so I went to go and see Jersey Boys, and um, that was my first time like, finding out about this whole story that like I had no idea about and also like the band themselves yeah. I didn't realize how many hits they had yeah so that was my first experience my first proper memory of Frank Valley and the Four Seasons wow okay whereabouts in Australia I'm from Newcastle two hours north of Sydney oh okay okay yeah. I'm going there <laughs> let's go oh, there amazing. it's going to be there oh is it it's going to be there whilst whilst you're there oh, probably yeah oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it all like oh look it always changes but at the moment I would probably say that I really love um I love doing the scene oh what a night I think it's 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 brilliant the story if you haven't seen it it's got a it's a very funny story behind it um I really enjoy that every night it's yeah really that yeah. looks like it yeah yeah kind of a, a ball so yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely so that's cool that's cool so we're talking about four seasons what's your favorite season of the year oh. I would actually, like, I know that I my character represents summer in the show, but I would probably say winter, <laughs> because I'm a very sweaty person, and I do not <laughs> like walking through the heat. <laughs> okay, so you like it to be a little bit cooler. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, interesting, interesting. Have you got um, a favour or an aspirational role that you'd like to play in the future? Because oh. you said, as you say, you're young. So. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm reasonably young. I'm getting there, but um, <laughs> um, I would probably. There's not really. A, I would like to be in Phantom of the Opera as Raoul. That would be really cool. Yeah. Um, but I would love to originate a role, like at some point. I'd love to. Um, I would love to get into some new writing in London or New York or Australia and yep. really sink my teeth into something that no one else has touched. And so create something. Some, uh, yeah, I would love to create something. Ah, yeah, that would be really exciting. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Growing up then, what, what sort of musical influences did you have? Well, I grew up, I remember watching The Wizard of Oz as a young child, so straight away I knew that like there was this form of like storytelling with music, so I loved that. Uh -huh. But then I kind of went off more on like an acting path and didn't really like, um, d didn't really focus on the music as much. But then, but then I think I listened to Wicked, the musical, uh -huh. and I remember just being like, what is this? What is this amazing, um, show and what like oh my gosh you can go to the theater and watch musicals and all that kind of stuff and then i started doing a lot of amateur amateur shows mm -hmm. back in newcastle and um just yeah really exploring that world mm -hmm. so yeah that that was the kind of musical influences i had i also really did actually love pop music uh the spice girls <laughs> well, well i love the spice girls like <laughs> they were fabulous <laughs> that's, um, that's a good admission I, yeah i know look, i have to admit you it I know, I know, I know, and I have to come clean with my Spice Girls love. <laughs> no, I did love the Spice Girls, and oh gosh, so many, so many pop divas. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So you've obviously been in the West End. You're now on tour. Audience different? Do they receive it differently? It as really it changes in different venues, but yeah. as a whole, like the audiences on tour are going mental for this show, and it is so of exhilarating. They are. Yeah, like it's of just they are. it's so wonderful. We have a standing ovation, standing ovation every night, and um, they go, the crowds go wild. The right? crowds go wild. Yeah, they really do, and it's just it's just so fabulous. It's so um, incredible to be part of such a mega musical that has the same reaction basically everywhere. Everyone is just just comes out dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. So, and do you find that they p potentially laugh at different... Uh, yeah, definitely. There is different, like, in Glasgow, I remember um, 
they they really like oh what a night it was just so funny because of the story behind it yeah. they were just like so so raucous whereas like <laughs> you go to some other like maybe a little more sleepy village kind of town and um they're probably a bit more like, oh, I don't know if I want to hear about this, you know, like, <laughs> like do I need to cover my child's eyes? Like, you know, all that kind of stuff, yeah. <laughs> That's good. That's good. So, obviously, we've talked about that sort of area and, and looking at sort of inspirational roles and, and that. Have you got anybody that you would really love to work with in the future? Oh, as an actor? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, work, working opposite someone? Oh, uh, I probably would say... I'd probably just say Hugh Jackman, like, I think that he is actually, uh, Hugh Jackman and Kate Blanchett, and I know they're both okay. Australian, but, <laughs> but I just think that they're both incredible actors, and yeah. Hugh Jackman, his, his path in musical, musical theatre slash film slash, well, I think he's now producing, I think mm. he was one of the producers on The Greatest Showman, mm. but his involvement in all that kind of stuff, I really um, respect and aspire to and love his, um, his way of delving into all of those different yeah. uh, parts of, of theatre and performance. And is that something you'd like to do and explore? Yeah, definitely. I would love to, oh God, if I could even have a portion of Hugh Jackman's career, I would be like, <laughs> I would be like, thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good, that's good. So I'm just thinking we've got, I've got three questions that I always ask. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so you guys need no, no one going to ask. So <laughs> if you could go back in time to any period in history, where would you go back to and why? I think I would go back, well, there's so many good eras, but like, if you actually think about all of the eras that you'd be going back to, there would definitely be some serious problems. Like if you went back to uh, the 40s, you know, you're going to be getting part of the world war. Like, you know, if you go back to, I don't know, the Renaissance, people, aren't they getting their heads chopped off? Like, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of serious problems with jumping back in these eras. Yeah. But if we're going to go for like fashion and fun and like, just I think really cool kind of a cool kind of era. I would go back to the nineteen twenties in New York, like that yeah. kind of jazz, like prohibition yeah. era. Like I think it's really sexy and like really yeah, cool, and you know? Stylized. Yeah, yeah, it's really stylized. Yeah, I can get that. Yeah, I can get that. If you could have a superpower or be a superhero, what would you have or who would you choose? Or can why? I have two superpowers? Oh, go on then. Okay, yeah. I think I would want to fly yeah. and be able to read minds. Oh. Yeah. yeah, because I think that that's invaluable. That's <laughs> Imagine true. the knowledge yeah. that I would have if I'd be able to read Donald Trump's mind. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Somebody I interviewed recently actually said they wanted to read people's minds, but they wanted to read people's minds on an audition panel so that they knew... If they were going to get the job or not! <laughs> yeah! How to do it so that they'd get the role. Oh, that's amazing. Oh my God, that now that is really what yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. And you could have three dinner guests, dead or alive. Who dead would you choose and okay. why? Hugh okay. Jackman, surely. Uh, I don't know if I would oh, say Hugh yeah. Jackman, though. Oh, no, really? I don't, no, I think I would say... Because I would probably then start... I probably would actually go for more um, like pop stars, rock stars. Okay. I would probably say Freddie Mercury. Yes. I would. That would just be fascinating. Yeah. Um, maybe William Shakespeare. Wow. Just like... Just because of just to pick his, his mind. legacy, yeah, yeah, like you know, to pick that mind, and maybe someone alive. Uh, I'm gonna either Adele or Lady Gaga. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Again, musical influences. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, that was great. So you're on tour. You finish in Southampton next year. Uh, in March next year. Tell my audience who love musicals and they know I love Jersey Boys. Tell my audience why they should come and see you at a venue when it's when you're near them. Absolutely, you guys should come and see Joe's Boys at a venue near you because it's just it's an, a fabulous night out. There is hit after hit after hit, and you also get an amazing story about Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons from and their rise from uh, rags to riches, and it is an incredible night out. It is an incredible night out, and you should book tickets when it's near you. And because we're in. selling out, we're selling out. There you go, you heard it here. It's it, honestly, it's selling out. It is an incredible night out. So remains for me to say thank you so much. Thank you so for much for your time today, Declan. Thank you so and, much. And uh, see you at a venue near you. Take care. Bye. Bye.